Did you know Microsoft has a developer program? Specifically, Microsoft 365. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. I'll walk you through on how you can get started and what are the benefits of having that developer environment. You might be wondering, what exactly is the developer program? If we look at Microsoft's website, it says here, get an instant sandbox pre-configured with sample data, which includes Teams developer portal and start developing on Microsoft's 365 platform. Okay, cool. That sounds more of a system administrative role, but why would somebody that's interested in cybersecurity care about this program? You wanna think about all of the possibilities that we can do here. If we scroll down a little bit, this includes all Office 365 apps, advanced threat protection, and Azure AD. This will provide you with immediate exposure along with hands-on experience into these platforms, which you as an analyst can obtain a better understanding on how Microsoft works. Because trust me when I say this, Microsoft is confusing us. If you're interested in IAM, identity and access management, then having access to play around with Azure AD is a blessing. Having this program provide you with sample data makes your life extremely easy. You don't have to create multiple users and try to generate logs for each and every one of them anymore. Another benefit is that if your personal computer doesn't have as much resources as you would want it to, that doesn't matter because this lives in the cloud. The only bottleneck that I can see is your internet connectivity. Enough of me talking, let's get started. We'll head over to the developer website and I'll leave the link down below. Click on join now and you will have to sign in or sign up for a Microsoft account if you do not have one already. Once you've successfully logged into your Microsoft account, you will now be presented with this screen. Go ahead and fill it out. In the company field, you can list it as anything you want. So in this case, I will name it as my DFIR company. Accept the terms and hit next. We will have to answer some questionnaires. In this case, we'll just select personal projects. This will ask us what areas of Microsoft 365 are we most interested in. In this case, it's up to you what you want to click on, but I'll just click on Outlook, Office, Teams, and hit save. On the next page, you have the option to select Instant Sandbox or Configure Sandbox. If you configure Sandbox, you can then create a custom domain for your Sandbox. Otherwise, if you just select Instant Sandbox, Microsoft will automatically configure it for you. I think in this case, it is much easier to select Instant Sandbox. So that is what we will do. Also, with an Instant Sandbox, it is pre-configured with 16 fictitious users whereas a configurable sandbox, you will have your own sandbox from scratch, of course, but it will take up to two days to provision it. And you must manually add your data, whereas the instant sandbox automatically populates the data for you. So we'll hit next. And now we will select our country, put in our admin username and password. If you wanna use an alternative password for the fictitious users, you need to make sure to check this box and then put in the password you wanna use. Otherwise, if you leave it as default like this, then it will use the same password as your admin password. Once we hit continue, we'll be asked to provide a phone number for security. So make sure you do provide a valid phone number as you'll be getting a text message in which you will have to verify. Once you've successfully verified your phone number, you'll now be presented with this dashboard. And if you want to add your sample data packs, you can go ahead and select them over here at the bottom. And you might ask, okay, great. Now that we signed up and we have this developer sandbox, what do we do now? Well, we can start utilizing Exchange and start looking at emails or even utilize Azure AD to start playing around with creation of users and permissions, as well as enrolling our machines to Microsoft Defender. This way we can start generating alerts and see how it looks like with Defender. I think it's pretty cool. As an example, I'm in Microsoft 365 Defender and I can start seeing any of the devices that have been enrolled into this environment. If and when you enroll your devices into your developer program, you can then use something like advanced hunting 
to start querying your devices to gather additional information. If your devices generate alerts, you can go and take a look at your incidents and alerts and see what additional information you can get. Another example is heading over to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, as this will give you the options to navigate to security, compliance, endpoint, identity, exchange, and many more. I will highly encourage you to play around within your environment and don't be afraid to break anything because it's a sandbox. There you have it. You just created your own Microsoft 365 developer environment. You now have the capability to configure and add as many users as you want, configure whatever settings you want, and gain valuable hands-on experience. I personally would recommend you play around with Azure AD, Advanced Threat Protection, along with Outlook. Specifically, look at the unified audit logs. This will provide you with logs that you will typically see in a SOC environment with clients that have Azure and Office 365 ingesting into whatever SIM. Understanding these events and logs ahead of time will provide you with an advantage over your competitors. That is it for the video. I hope you found it informative. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember, stay curious and do things differently.